Obviously, this had a huge impact in the final week of the election. It's not the only thing, though, and, and so I'm glad there's this investigation, but I don't, I think that um, Democrats are doing themselves a disservice if they just focus on the Comey thing and not on all the other reasons this happened. This is, it's really, it's disgraceful, if I could use a Donald Trump word, uh, that twice in 16 years the Democrats have won the popular vote Mm -hmm. and somehow lost the Electoral College. Mm -hmm. That this, they would let this happen again, that nobody did the math, nobody thought this out, everybody knew what the law was, um, that, that, that Hillary didn't go to Wisconsin for what, seven months? You know, these sorts of things. It's her own fault, and then it's Democrats' own fault, in, you said, in a, in a major way. But I yeah. want you to look at yeah, this. But, but, uh, but, yes, this had something to do with it, though. Yes, all right, good. Let's talk about that. Uh, this, these are the polls, and th these are CNN poll, uh, poll of polls, which means it's a number of different polls, yeah. a snapshot yeah. of where the race stood nationally. Yep. On February 28th, yep. the day James Comey released his letter on the Hillary Clinton investigation, October, excuse me, October 28th, released le his letter on the Hillary Clinton investigation. Hillary Clinton led Donald Trump by six points, 47 to 41. On November 5th, including polls taken after the Comey letter dropped, her lead was cut by half to just three points. Democrats say Comey was the major or a major factor in Hillary Clinton's loss. You agree with that? Yeah, I think he was a factor. If you, on your, what you just showed there, she went down one point. Uh, he went up. Well, it's just three points, but go on. Right, but, um, but I'm saying that the I, here's what I think. I don't think people all of a sudden decided we're going to vote for Hillary. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna now going to vote for Trump. I think what it did was it depressed the vote for Hillary. And people, a lot of people just threw their hands up and said, I'm not voting. I'm staying home. And it energized certain people who maybe felt weren't that excited about Trump but said, okay, I've heard enough of this. I, can't, I don't want another eight years of Clintorama, so you know, I'm, I'm going to go out and vote for Trump. Well, is it, well, it going to matter? Because it, is, it too little, too, is it too late to have another probe into this? Because after no. January 20th, can't he just shut it down? Well, he could. What would that look like for him? No, it's not too late. He cares. It doesn't matter. The, the American people care. I mean, if they don't, and if people who voted for Hillary don't rise up and raise a ruckus over this, and if it, and if it turns out that, that there was something funny going on here, that there were people within the FBI knew that Comey was, I mean, the fact that he would release that information, but not the fact that there was this other information about the Russian hacking and this other th stuff, it's, it's, it really, if you were an outside observer of this, you would say he was playing one certain side in favor of them. And, and everybody should be outraged by this and, 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 and not sit back and take it. But, of course, liberals and Democrats are very used to going, oh, geez, we lost. Oh. Not the other side. Yeah. If he'd won by 3 million popular votes, believe you me, you and I would be having a different discussion tonight.